I shall saw see. Drier than expected. I'll make this easy, you, you double-crossing rat. Give me the map, and maybe you live long enough to scurry away. Look at that. A stranger from out of nowhere to save you, huh? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy gutting your balls. <laughs> A little help, please? Who are they? That is a question no native would ask. <laughs> Those brutes were the sand scorpions. A group of vile murderers that I am overjoyed to no longer be a part of. Why don't you grab the key of Tiago and free me? Hmm? Then we can talk more. Friend. Now, not every traveler waylaid by the scorpions has the strength to fight back, <laughs> much less kill Tiago the Bloodthirsty. What brings someone like you to this forsaken desert? I'm looking for a library of an ancient mage. It is said to be buried beneath the dunes. Would you know anything about that? <clears throat> a little too forthright for these sands, friend. You never know who may be listening. But yes, I know of what you seek. Come, we can discuss these things in a safer place. Welcome to the Shasser Sea. A more turbulent and accursed place you may never find. <laughs> there they are! <laughs> The Sand Scorpions have never forgiven us for leaving them. But Tabri has a strength they lack. Come, you'll see. Where is everyone? It's not like the guards to be lying down on duty. You there. What has happened? Ah, oh, the Lacuni attacked again. Tabri and the others went to fight them. Those damn beasts attack without end. Listen, friend. To find your library, you will need to speak to our leader, Tabri. Unfortunately for you, she is in the midst of repelling a Lacuni invasion. But hey, it's not all sandstorms and wasps. Sure, there are a few panther monster people in your way, but a person of your skill can easily remove them, yes? Dov, the Lacuni are already at our gates. We need all the blades we can get. Of course, of course. Take my friend here and... I will join you uh, once I have taken care of this man's grievous wounds. Right, Zav. Whatever. Come this way, stranger. Your dens. Nothing but death awaits your kind here. You have either excellent or terrible timing, stranger. While I appreciate your aid, I do not know who you are. 
What brings you to my camp? Your friend, Zov, I believe his name was, said I should speak with you. I'm looking for something buried beneath these sands. Ah, friend is a strong word. If Zov... You have either excellent or terrible... Your ah, friend is a strong word. If Zov sent you, he must see good omens in your arrival. But there is no fortune to be found here. Look around you. The Amber Blades are barely holding on against this threat, much less Vateos and his thugs. The desert sands devour hope. You should leave before they claim you too. Luck is all I can offer you, outsider. Leave, and may Fahir's eye never fall upon you. Hey, over here! This way! <coughs> Let me guess. Dabri told you to leave, hmm? Ha! <laughs> oh, that woman is surely the coldest person in a thousand miles. No wonder Vateos is frightened of her. Listen, your problem is an easy one. She believes you are going to be a burden. Yes? So instead, we lighten the weight upon her shoulders. Simple! And I know exactly how we do it. Several of our men were dragged away in the last attack. Save anyone still alive, and kill the Lakuni pack leader. <laughs> oh, and bring back proof of your kill. Tabri, for some inconceivable reason, favors action over words. Keep prisoners, it seems. back. Oh, and with a pelt? Ooh, that's uh, disturbing. <laughs> but clever. Tabri won't be able to deny such uh, compelling evidence. <laughs> anyway, Tabri just returned to camp. Uh, follow me, and I'll take you to her. She's certainly going to be surprised to see this. You had best have a good reason for disturbing me again, outsider. Yeah. 
Isn't it amazing, boss? We killed Alvas. <laughs> Those lousy Lacuni will know better than to mess with us. Yeah. Us? Hmm. Considering it's our new friend's hands that are bespattered with blood, it isn't difficult to tell where the credit is due. As for you, go and hang the beast's skin on my gate. Let those mongrels see its face every time they think about encroaching on my territory. When you're done, we'll talk. Keep up the patrols. We will not be complacent just because of a single victory. Of course, Tabri. So, you have proven yourself to be quite the fighter, haven't you? Zov says you're seeking the library of Zoltan Kul. I know of it, and I am willing to entertain helping you get there. For a price. And what price is that? The Scepter of Fahir. An artifact once held by the rightful ruler of Shassar, and split into three pieces after his death. With it, we can finally bring peace to this land. Obtain all three, and you will have what you seek. Zov, take our friend to Peth. His guidance will be invaluable to you, newcomer. Before you go, take this, as proof of our pact. This gem, and others like it, will prove useful to you on your journey. I suggest you get acquainted with them as well. Oh, oh of course, boss. Look at that, my friend. Oh. A tourmalin. A rare gift in these parts indeed. You should meet Emine. She will show you what to do with it. Ah, a customer. You know where to find me. Ah, a customer. Ah, Zav. Here to repay your debts, finally? Or to increase them further, I wonder. <laughs> a good one. Let's skip past such trivialities, shall we? My friend here wishes to learn how to harness the potential of gems. And I could think of no one but you to help. Oh, a gem, you say? Let me see it. Hmm. Good color. A few inclusions. Not exactly flawless, but still quite pretty. This jewel will enhance your capabilities nicely. I can help you with socketing it, if you like. Keep an eye out for sandstorms. Ah, a customer. Keep an eye out for sandstorms. Oh, look at you. You're so, uh, shiny. And uh, honestly, I can't even see it. Did you even get it socketed? It doesn't matter. Come, it is time to meet with Peth. And carry on with this journey of yours. This relic actually appears to be genuine. <laughs> Miracles do happen. Excuse me. Tarbri sent me to speak with you. About the Scepter of Fahir. What? The Scepter? Can't you see I'm busy? What do you need to know about that cursed thing? Where to look for it? Supposedly, it's been broken into three pieces. Please, I know all about the Scepter's history. What I don't think you understand is how impossible the task you've been given is. The Scepter was separated and buried intentionally when Fahir's reign ended. Our forebears understood that deeds like King Fahir's must never be repeated. We know where the three pieces are. It is obtaining them that is the fool's errand. Still, I've seen that look in an adventurer's eye before. Very well. If you cannot be dissuaded, the first map piece lies on the desk behind me. It will point you to one of the Scepter's fragments. Take it if you wish. But... 
You do so at your own peril. The Chamber of Wisdom. Very well. the burning hells you wait you're no demon no i'm not i assume you're the one responsible for this proudly there's a demon using illusion magic to sow chaos and feed upon the locals i'm going to trap it and kill it now stop talking and i'll free you I suggest you leave this place as well. The only thing I found in there is death. Now get out of my way. I have a demon to hunt. Charming girl. Now, if she's telling the truth, I'll need to be careful. But I cannot leave without a centerpiece. Sealed. There must be a way to open it somewhere.
that monstrosity was guarding a scepter piece. No wonder so many died trying to obtain them. Alive. I mean, of course you are. Of course. Just look at you. Yeah. Uh, so did you find it? Oh, look how it shines. Well, perhaps this task is less impossible than we thought, huh? You are ready for the second piece, then? Y yes. Here's the next map. Uh, but the headpiece was buried along with Fahir in the hopes no one would ever reach it. Tabri is waiting for you in Sereth Outpost. Uh, as for me, uh, I have some business to attend to first. Uh, you, you go on ahead. Don't worry. I'm just going to take a quick look in this chamber. Uh, make sure nothing uh, uh, dangerous was left behind. Does that mean you have the scepter piece? You've arrived. Alluring, is it not? It's hard to believe I'm really holding this. Perhaps the winds really are about to change. You aren't the first adventurer to come through here, to speak with my people. Many have dared the chambers and tombs, and each of them wound up the same. But you're different, aren't you? Here, take this. A reward for your hard work. Just know that your task gets more difficult from here. The head of the scepter was buried with Fahir. You will need to brave his tomb to find it. Not ready. Inside that tomb, the old kingdom hid many terrible secrets. Ones that prefer to remain hidden. Secrets buried in the sands, shrouded in darkness. Many an adventurer has attempted to retrieve the scepter. I don't need to explain what happened to them, do I? for the light.
Only one seal remains. Let's not be too eager. Be praised!
not be too eager. Still recharge. For his remains are gone. No matter. I have what I came here for. What else wants those scepter pieces? Riches to whoever strips them from the outsider's corpse. Still recharging. I take it that was Vateos. Yes, the leader of the Sand Scorpions, and our rival for these accursed dunes. Next time he will not escape my blade. I presume you have the headpiece? Of course you retrieved it. You know, if you are trying to make me regret doubting you, it's working. After all these years of struggling, we are so close to our goal. Only one piece remains. A jewel called the Light of Fahir. This map will reveal its location to you. Acquire the gem, and bring hope to this land at last. It says, the light is hidden in darkness. Some place called the Prison of the Scorpion. Oh, that bodes well. already. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the location on the map, but it is no prison. The entrance must still be concealed. My pool is rushing away. That must be it. Light hidden in the darkness, huh? All that remains is to bring it to Tarbury. You've returned. And here we just come to assist you. You have the jewel already, don't you? The Scepter of Fahir. I can hardly believe it. You may never truly understand what you have done for us this day. But know that we will be forever grateful to you. You have given me the right to rule this land. And more importantly, provided us with a symbol that can unite our scattered people against Vateos. It is time to rise up and cast off his cruelty once and for all. The scepter is holy again. This moment will be remembered forever. Let a new light dawn upon the Shastar Sea! It's funny. When I met you, I told you these sands tend to devour hope. I have never been happier to be proven wrong, my friend. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Peth will provide you with access to the Library of Zoltun Kul, just north of Sereth Outpost. 
Only he knows the ancient spell that parts the sands. Be safe, and know that I may call upon your services again. You have been quite the partner, after all. This way. We'll use the waypoint to reach Sereth quickly. Our path leads by the Sand Scorpion's camp, so be wary. Tell us where the Scepter is! We know you've been collecting the pieces! out of here before more of them arrive. The library isn't far, but we've never been inside. There were too many warnings. It seems even the Horadrim feared Zoltan Kul's domain. If I believed in it, I would wish you luck, friend. Still, you did survive Fahir's tomb. So perhaps you stand a chance. And don't worry about us. The Amber Blades will retake Shassar, thanks to you. Allow me to do my part. Let the path be opened! 